consensus of truth, this does everything from from money because mm -hmm. we know how much is in each wallet and mm -hmm. we we know the truth of it. But we also take things. We could do stuff like voting for the president because if I have a wallet and that's my ID, uh -huh. like if we, this is a little bit. There's a lot Way of stuff. In the yeah, future. yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I, I'm I'm following. If, okay. If I. I wanted. I have a theory of trying to do like your fingerprint with blood and like um, so that there's multiple fallbacks. Like if you do a wallet to your identity, and then like I could verify that I own that wallet, and then I could vote for the president, and that'd be all on the blockchain. Like, and then there's going to be absolutely no now, argument that there's. Okay. Yes, except for except for humans are the bad. It's humans that it, are that virus. This that. is a, <laughs> blockchain is an amazing, beautiful tool, uh -huh. but humans have to figure out how to use it for humans, whether they do or not. I think they will. I uh -huh. think they will, because you can't kill it. It's unstoppable. This uh -huh. movement is unstoppable. Eventually, humans will. I think when I say humans, I mean just the masses of people. I guess uh -huh. governments will eventually, hopefully, come to their senses and start adopting this, but. But then you get into the economics of fiat printing money. Government likes to print money. You can't print money with cryptocurrency codes in there. All the mining servers have code in there, and as soon as soon as you alter the code, like as soon as they start trying to confirm transactions, it's not going to sync up the math, and people are going to be like, "No, that that mining server is not right. Something's wrong with it. Somebody altered their code or something. Let's kick it off the network." Mm -hmm. So there is a consensus module out of all that. So, so how are people making money from it? So to so. Because I know, like, I have a friend of mine, he, um, I don't know, he had it in his garage for years. I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't think, I don't know if you met Mark, but he had computers running in his garage for, like, so those, since I've known him. So those mining computers, when, mm -hmm. when they confirm that transaction from person, uh, person A to person B, mm -hmm. um, that mining server, whoever is the first mining server to confirm that gets a small fee. It's like micro oh. pennies. Yeah. So the person sending pays the fee. And it's to that first person only, not the other ones who are confirming. Correct. Okay. Uh, there's a little, it uh, gets a little bit uh, complicated. more yeah. complicated. Yeah. Um, there are. Interesting. I've never had it. Like I've always <laughs> vaguely, you know, seen it around, yeah. um, but yeah. I've never really cared enough to research obviously you're the first person to actually give me that definition so that's very fascinating so, and a lot of people cool. will look at bitcoin like the price is at uh forty thousand dollars per coin right I now um that, yeah. a lot of people say well it's too late for me to for them to get in and i say i i think we're at a fraction of the world's money in the system i think event I don't know if 100% of the world's money will go in cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. And even if it's even if it's 2% or 10%, I think we're at a small sub-fraction of that currently. That, that people can still get involved. And yeah, still yeah. Um, mm, okay. And even if... This is the beautiful thing I love about cryptocurrency.